happy Wednesday. I'm not even gonna hold y'all. Like this is one of those days where I'm just like, I'm not feeling it. Today was a good day, but I'm just like drained. Mm, not feeling it. Good news though, the first vlog is up. That's why this is weird, cause I'm sitting all the way back. It's, ooh, that's so much better. My seat, thank you, Lord. Vlog number one for Vlogtober is up. It is on my channel. Um, I'll probably put a card up on the at the end of the video so y'all can watch it um the first vlog i was really trying to figure it out figure out my vlogging style um you know figure out what i wanted to show you guys um so that was really that was like a public trial and error if you will so feel free to leave me any feedback because this is all about growth i was really torn about uploading the vlog yesterday because i didn't feel like um the content was sufficient or substantial enough and you're always going to get hit with that like um that struggle between like what you want to do and like right when you're on the cusp of doing it all these internal thoughts just flood like what if what if what if what if what if but you just have to go with the leading of the lord and if he gave you a specific task if he gave you um, instructions if he burdened you with a need to like produce and birth something in the earth you just have to remember what he said and let me let me um clarify what i mean by burden when i say burden i don't mean like inconvenience not how people burden each other that's not what i'm referring to when i say burden i mean like an impression like a heavy impression like this is something i have to do and those type of burdens are actually an honor versus an inconvenience so if you hear me use the word burden especially in that context in reference to like and god is in the mix that's more than likely what i'm referring to and i had to pray about doing this whole content thing because i needed to make sure that this is what god act like i had to make sure that this is what god wants me to do and not something that i want so badly that i'm making it seem like he agrees i have a history of my ambition turn around and biting me in the butt um so i need to make sure like okay god is this something that I just want to do or is this something that you're actually calling me to that I have to walk in? You no, know, before it was just like, oh, that would be cool. That will be, you know, nice to try. And then it turned into like the Lord calling me to do it. I wanted to do content creation back in college. I think back to doing the whole comedy route, which I'm still funny. So it, it'll come out every now and then. But that wasn't working for me. And I found myself trying to make things work because... This is something that I wanted so desperately to do. But this time around, it felt different. It felt it felt different. And it felt like I was being, it felt like I was being burdened to create content. Now remember the context in which I'm using the word burden, right? And then the Lord developed these different passions for um, educating people about the principles, biblical principles. And then he birthed this passion for fashion. And I'm just like, what's happening here like there's a whirlwind and then he still gives me a heart for like new mothers and so there's like a whirlwind of like in an influx of things that the lord is burdening me with and i think he's gonna pull it all together in this space but what i was saying was i had to pray and really hear God. And I did not get confirmation about starting to do content until I felt that, like that deep impression to do it. I'm not gonna be the one to tell you just do it. Just start it, just go be it. Just, I'm not gonna tell you that. What I am gonna tell you is lay it at the feet of the Lord, lay it at the feet of Jesus. If he confirms it and if he releases you, because he's a God of order. Don't let nobody fool you. If he releases you, then by all means, spread your wings and fly, baby. But don't just go out here doing stuff because you want to do it because that not, might not be what God wants for you. At that point, when the Lord gives you his sign of approval, when the Lord confirms the thing in you, when he lets you know that, yes, this is what you are supposed to do, if you miss your appointed time, he will find somebody else. So if the Lord gave you that burden, there's a possibility that it was placed on you because somebody else dropped the ball. Likewise, if you drop the ball, 
he can give it to somebody else. Because once the Lord confirms you, you're going to be sitting here waiting for the right time for the rest of your life. And then you'll die full. When God put us on this earth to die empty, to bring glory to his name, empty. Probably worry about it. I'm probably have to like <laughs> cut this down. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Everything we do should be to bring God glory. Period. Everything we do should be to bring God glory. Because if that is your focus, if that is your priority, God already said all the promises that were made in the Bible were made to the righteous. So what does that mean? You have to be in the posture of righteousness to benefit those promises. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and all this righteousness and all these other things will be added unto you. So many of us are trying to do things in the name of God for our own benefit. When everything we do should be for the benefit of God. Everything we do should be to bring glory to his name. And if he sees fit, y'all gotta say we don't make no decisions. He has the last say. Submit your plans before the Lord. Submit your plans before the Lord. He's the only one who can make the quick path straight. He's the only one who can level the mountains and break up the valleys. He's the only one. So it doesn't matter how much you try to appease your ambition. If God's not in it, he's not going to bless it. If God doesn't bless it, it's not going to work. He does the building up. He does the tearing down. So that's why your perspective must always be heavenward. Because if it's heavenward, you will never be disappointed because it's not about you anyway. Woo. If it's heavenward and it's about the Lord giving glory... You won't ever be disappointed because it's not about you. But so often we miss that part because we're doing things for us. And that's not what the Lord calls us to. It's never been, never been, never been. Okay, I'm done. I'm going to go in this house, get myself ready for Bible study. I'm stirred. We have Bible study tonight. It's Women's Month at our church, so the women are leading. I might get a little footage of Bible study. My mama's speaking tonight, y'all, so I'm definitely getting that. Thank you, Jesus. And then we have choir rehearsal after that, so I'm a, I might get a little bit of that. Might not, depends on how I feel. But if I don't see y'all again tonight, I'm definitely coming back tomorrow. Y'all got me, y'all got me all razzled, <laughs> all, all uh, discombobulated, recombobulated, because I know for the foundation I got. Anyway. Millie, let me see your hair. Come here. Oh, you look so pretty. <laughs> I am who's able to do exceedingly. It costs me nothing, but his blood has redeemed me. I'm so proud of my boogie man. You preached. <laughs> Y'all, why well, I forget today was picture day? I forget picture day every year. And I'm the one who put the communications like in the folders and stuff. And I forget every year. Never fails. Thank God the Lord, you know, he worked it out. You know, he he really uh, defended me today. Because last year, baby, <laughs> last year I had a six-month-old and I had Louis under my eyes. It was horrible. I looked like I forgot. You could tell I forgot. I said, oh no, I'm not even taking pictures today. We're gonna have to run this back in February or whenever the retake day is. Cause, uh-uh. Welcome to the very rare occasion that I had the house to myself. My husband is in the office and Millie is out with her Gigi for a couple hours. The more I think, the more I think I thank you. Good, I'm just good. But I'm about to head right back out and go to the grocery store. So I'm gonna take y'all grocery shopping with me real quick. I'm not gonna do too much car talking cause I know I gave y'all my full yesterday. So I don't wanna bore you. <laughs> I am going to go do that, so. Yeah, let's go get some vittles, period. Take it to the water. Ah! Listen to the Lord, we're still rich. This house is still empty. So you know what I'm gonna do? Put these groceries away. Light me up a few little couple of candles. 
put me on a little Tubi movie. Yes, I watched Tubi. Put me on a little Tubi situation and relax. Amen. Praise God. I thank you. Praise God. I thank you. Praise God. I thank you. Praise God. Ah. And you know what? I'm going to watch me a black independent Tubi movie. Those are the best ones because of how horrible they are. If you are a Tubi creator, I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about the bad ones. Anyway, go ahead, get that started. Put on me some pajamas early. I said early, I said early, Sunday morning, heroes. I changed the key like three times. That's what's up. I know why I was feeling so drained on Monday because I definitely had a slight flare up today. So if you have to take medication, take your medication. Follow your conviction, but take your medication. Medication is not the devil to me. Sometimes stubborn will and disobedience is more of an enemy than medication is. If you have medication, pray. See what the Lord says and all things. But take your medicine. They low key scared me all that black. They was walking fast. I felt like the Grim Reaper. They was just walking. Oh man. Too fast and too close to me. I thought they was gonna take me to the Catholic heaven. I don't, I don't know about that one. I don't think they shot over there.